Yo, yo, what is going on, gamers? Your boy Dion, aka I Maverick. Got my brother Juice in the building, and we are going to react to this Madden 18. Well, I'm going to react. I just want to be here to get Juice's opinion too on the Madden 18 official trailer that just dropped. I know some of you guys are here just to see that, so we're gonna watch this for the first time, give you our thoughts, uh, while well, mostly give you my thoughts. Now, I have played the game already. So we're going to hurry up and dive into the trailer so y'all can watch it. And then from someone that is a part of the EA Sports Game Changer program and has played it, if you want to stick around to the end, I'll give you some of my thoughts watching it too. All right. Now, Juice has not played it. Game engine footage. Bold statement. That's clean. That's clean. My father used to say, when the world knocks you down, you get back up again. So here's what we gonna do. Here's what we gonna do right now. Hold up. Okay, that's it. That's it. Juice, what's what's your initial thoughts? Like if you just My initial, thoughts initial thoughts. It looks doper than seventeen. Graphic wise, stadium effects. Stadium yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice. yeah. Okay. That's what's up. That's what I want. That's what I want to see. <laughs> All right. So now. Okay, now let me guys, or let me quickly give you guys some of my thoughts on this. I'm super excited, of course. I'm pretty excited every year, though. I'm 100% a Madden head. They could make a I'm Mad as a Dumb Little Ho edition, and I'd probably cop. I'd probably pre order, right? So, take that. Now, by no means am I, you know, being part of the EA Game Changer program, I just go early and play and I give feedback. By no means, I'm never paid for anything. They don't, uh,. They don't, they don't, they don't ever force me or try and strong arm me into saying something good about the game. Here, I'll say this really quick, and then I'll get back into the trailer. In my experience with the Game Changer program, this is my first year doing it, being in it, like from the, like the beginning of a game to try and, or the early stages of the game and giving feedback to try and build it. These dudes like are so passionate and so into and so genuine with this game that they're trying to build. And I can't speak of like the higher up executive, but the guys in the studio building the game, they love feedback. They're good at accepting feedback and they are genuinely giving everything they got to try and make this a really great game. And I don't think they're transparent about that at all. I think, and that's one thing I've been pushing pushing for. I was like, if I got to see some of the, if, if, or if, Everyone got to, if you guys got to see some of the things that I got to see, and they explained some of the issues that they're working on and trying to fix, like they explained to me, I don't think y'all would be coming at their necks like that. Sometimes I get how people are upset and say some of the things that they feel and feel like, oh, they're just money hungry, or they just want this, or they just want, or they don't care about the game. Some of y'all, a lot of y'all, I think are just tripping, and y'all need a hug. But some of y'all are, I get where it's coming from. And if they were more transparent, you guys got to see how hard they work and how e and how hard it is to fix some things that we think are simple. You know, you might look at like this play. This is a, this is a dope spin, and you're like, man, you know. Let's say you had an issue with the spin. Like the spins are broke. You got to fix the spin. Cool. Making a football game is tough, and I, after watching this, I think they got the hardest job because there's obviously there's eleven on each side of the field, but there's collisions and there's so many like. Almost every person on every play is colliding and doing like it's a I think they got a, the hardest game to make and so yeah you might try and tweak something over here remember all this is coding and all this technical crazy stuff it ain't like we copy and pasting it ain't no simple stuff like we would think and then you know you might move some little thing here and it opens up a gap over here and it's it's very it's very deep and things that we think are simple aren't necessarily simple and but they're working really hard and they really care about it. And this is not obviously nothing paid or something like that. I just really feel like everything over there is a lot more genuine than they let you guys see. But I don't know if they'll listen to old Mav. I feel like that works for me. Just, some, just let people know. And anyway, back to the trailer. I'm excited. 
They say game engine footage. Obviously, I can't confirm or deny what it's going to look like when it actually releases because we've, we've dealt with that. We've seen the E3 trailers where stuff looks amazing and then you get the game and it looks nothing like that. I will say this, in my time of playing it, obviously I've been playing a pre-alpha build. I believe in the Frostbite engine because little things like this, like particles and like the smoke and, and stuff like that, that's stuff that the Frostbite engine gives you. I never realized when you have a game engine, like the engine for the game and then even just the console, they have limits. They can't just do everything. So we want to see this, these different things in games. And there's a limit, especially when you have a, a, a yearly game. You can only make so many improvements. You can't improve on everything because you have a date you got to meet. But there's limits within that. And so the, what the Frostbite did, it raised the limits cr crazy on what they can do graphically. Like stuff like that, they weren't able even, they couldn't even, um, they couldn't do previously. So I'm excited to see even just first year what they'll do with Frostbite. But I'm thinking when we talk two years from now, three years, I think it's going to be ridiculous. Like, I think the, the, these are the biggest year leaps in graphics that we're going to see. Of course, this year going into it, but after they get more time with it, because of course they got to take the whole game and put it onto Frostbite. So I, I imagine now once they're on here and they, you know, they get a year or two under their belt, I'm, I'm excited to see what it looks like. But stuff like that is new stuff that we're going to see. We're going to see better stuff with the field, better stuff with jerseys, the lighting stuff i've noticed is is dope and it's stuff that you'll notice in game it's not just you know a cinematic shot or a cutscene. it's really it's it's in game stuff so i'm excited for that uh they're definitely teasing here right they're teasing on some stuff of course um ea's legal team does not play uh, and i don't play with them i i've worked with a lot of brands and companies since i've been doing this uh since the youtube thing and ea's legal team is probably one of the, the toughest so that's why I never, like, people be like, oh, these Madden YouTubers, packs are juiced, or EA just gave you this free, or they gave you coins. If I ain't tell you that, they ain't do it, all right? Because their legal team does not play. I feel like if I leak something I ain't supposed to, I won't wake up in the morning. I'm going to walk out my door, have a red dot in my, you know what I mean? And so I, I can't, there's certain things, obviously, I can't say. I do believe EA play is June 10th. And they'll obviously have more info for you guys. But you guys stay tuned here. As I can talk about more, please believe I will. Um, and as you guys have feedback, pass it to me. The best way is probably Twitter. Um, this is probably isn't the best video to let me know everything that you have. Every issue that you have with Madden 17. I want to get your thoughts on this trailer for Madden 18 and what you're excited for. Uh, let's do this question of the video. Let me know your thoughts on the trailer. And then also let me know when was the last Madden that you bought? What was the last Madden that you bought? And did this make you want to buy Madden 18? So was it, yeah, I bought Madden 17. It was cool, and I'm, but I, this definitely makes me want to buy Madden 18. Or was it, I haven't bought since Madden 12, and I think I want to buy this one. Uh, and yeah, just let me know your thoughts there. I, uh, I'm super pumped. I'm excited for this year. I think they, they, they definitely got some big things planned. I'm definitely excited to see how they uh, how it plays out. So let me know your thoughts. I'm going to try and jump in the comments and, and kind of interact with you guys a little bit as well. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. If you're new, definitely subscribe. We'll have a lot of Madden 18 news leading up. And as well as uh, we have Madden 17 content now. So y'all are awesome. Till next time, God first, God bless.